Hello you what's the spacers, welcome back to another video, Tygon here, and today we're going to be talking about ADS versus scope plus shoot. But Tygon, we already talked about that, I know, but now I'm going to actually tell you the values. Because I said before season 3 or season 4 was up, I was going to show you guys the actual values for this, and I'm going to do it now, so the actual time and is it really faster, I'm going to time it, I'm going to test it, I'm going to be a myth buster and all that jazz. I haven't done one of those episodes in a while, like since beta, but anyway... Let's get into it. So, uh, I'm going to be doing like about two tests, and we're going to do this in Nuketown. We're going to hop in there, and I'm going to show you guys some stuff, and then I guess we'll talk about what we learn. But yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, let me know if you like this new setup where I have like the white light instead of the purple light. Okay, guys, so we're in the testing ground. I picked Nuketown because I feel it's like the most iconic and would be the best to test this on. So, anyways, let's get into it. As you guys all know, today we are going to be testing the speed of scope plus shoot versus ADS sniping. We're going to be doing two tests. The first test is just going to be a pure speed test, seeing how fast it can shoot. And then we're going to have a consecutive test, seeing how fast it can shoot after multiple shots and which one's faster. So, I don't know if you guys can see, but in the bottom to mid left side you can see kind of see my ads button i'm going to be pressing that with my thumb and i'm going to show you guys my hud so you can actually see it and see what i'm pressing so you actually know yeah i'm pushing the ads button and yeah let's get into it so let me pull up my info so the first test we're going to do is going to be the scope plus shoot test and i have a little timer there so you and me can both see what's happening so i'm going to hit scope plus shoot first and when i do that we're going to get a value of 4.88. So that is where the timer is going to be on. That's where it starts. And then it ends at 5.33. And this is all based on sight. Now, that gives me a value of about 0.45. Now, when I do the ADS test, I get a value of 11.88 or 11.88. And then I end at 12.43. And that gives me a value of about... 0.55 or a little bit more than half of a second now i did a few averages and it basically all averaged out to 0.45 so either way it's a little bit less than half of a second and it's basically the same so that is what i got for that now i did this twice in two different ways i did it on site and i did it via sound and both ways i still came to the conclusion that it's averaging about 0.45 now Let's get into the second test where I'm basically just doing consecutive. So first off, I get a value of 1.22 using consecutive uh, shooting and I um, I stop when I hit the pullback animation. So once the pullback animation starts, that's when I stop. Once the pullback animation stops Reloading. for the second shot. So 1.22 to 4.49 is for the scope plus shoot and that gives you a value of 3.27 or 3 seconds and yeah, 3. Point two seconds and then for the ads button we have 1018 to 13.60 and that gives you a value of 3.42 consecutive shots now that's a pretty big difference so for scope plus shoot you have 3.2 and then for ads you have 3.4 but it gets even bigger if you go ahead and stop it at the shot because what if you're not doing the entire animation so let's go ahead and we're going to start at 1.22 again and then when we do it a second time we stop at 3.29 and that's going to give you a value of 2.07 or basically just two seconds and then for the ads button we have 10.18 and then we're going to stop at 12.59 and that gives us a value of 2.41 so you roughly have about 0.30 um yeah, 0.30 or 0.3 of a second which it doesn't seem like that much but it definitely is a very big factor when you're going up against other opponents especially in legendary and people with msmc's which can kill you faster than you can react i feel like it's a great addition to use scope plus shoot I, like you'd like to see more I, I think it looks nice but um i actually have both but i can turn the white light down or off or whatever but yeah that's it right now let's get in Okay, we're back, and what do we learn? So, we learned two things. One, it's basically the same if you're just taking a shot, and that's changed from Season 2, because Season 2, you could definitely notice Scope Plus Shoot was faster. You could just see it. But now in Season 3, it is exactly the same, pretty much. And why would anyone still want to use Scope Plus Shoot then? Well, if you're doing consecutive shots, as we just proved, it is faster by about... 30.30 30 seconds well not 0.30 seconds 0.30 of a second 
So that is why you would use skill plus shoot. Now, even if it is the same speed, if you're just taking one shot, it does allow you to do so much more and you get way more control. For example, if you wanted to switch over to hip fire real quick, you can do that. If you wanted to switch over to hard scoping real quick, you can do that without having so many buttons on your screen. And if you're playing on if you're playing on phone especially, it's just gonna clear up your buttons and everything. So that is why I love using skill plus shoot. It's faster in that aspect. I do however think they should buff skill plus shoot again, making sure it is a bit faster because it does take more skill. So it should offer an advantage um, just for regular sniping. But yeah, that is the advantage for skill plus shoot. Now there is one way skill plus shoot is faster when you're sniping and I've re I mean, I hit these sometimes, but I don't know. It's like the perfect shot. If you hit the shot perfectly, it's faster than when you're just using the ATIS button point blank. It is like super fast, but you don't always hit it. And it's just not something we can measure because of how inconsistent it is. Even when I hit it and I've been playing scope plus shoot for a while. So uh, yeah, we're not measuring that or whatever. That's just how it is. Um, I guess uh, it's pretty much tied in that aspect, but in any other way, I would say definitely take skill plus shoot. However, I'm going to talk about the downfalls of skill plus shoot because there are some problems. One, it should be buffed. That's just one downfall of it right there. It should be faster than it is. But the other one is sometimes your scope gets stuck when you're sniping and that is very frustrating. It's a glitch that they actually have in the game. They need to fix it. But let's say you're sniping, you're doing a whole bunch of stuff and then your scope will basically just get stuck in and it won't snap back because if you go into settings, you can see that you have well i have at least tap and hold to ads it will sometimes just stay in and that is a big problem one way you can i guess make sure this doesn't happen as much is by basically uh waiting until you see the full animation of the guy pulling back his um pulling back the basically reloading and when you see the animation done then going ahead and shooting that will definitely limit how much you get stuck in the scope but yeah they really do need to fix that but hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave me a like and let me know and also let me know if you guys want to see another um hand cam video like the one i did where i basically just used gyro sniping plus gyro or whatever that video i'll put it like the thumbnail on the screen but um yeah that's basically it hope you enjoyed i'm gonna go peace out Thank <laughs> you.